It's a great day to experience fitness. And did you know that Snidely Whiplash actually lives in your head? It's true. The saboteur can live in there. That dastardly, diabolical saboteur from the Dudley Durag cartoons, which is part of the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, which, by the way, if you have, as an adult, haven't gone back and watched the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, you really need to do that. They are absolutely hilarious. A lot of jokes we missed as kids that just went, shh, a lot of political humor in there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so Snidely Whiplash, you know, Dudley Durag would foil Snidely's plans. Uh, that he had of these diabolical things that uh, that he had for us, and we all have a little snidely whiplash, that evil, um, you know, dastardly doer, that saboteur that lives in our heads. What am I talking about here? Well, it's that voice that's in your head that says, "Yeah, you can have that extra piece of chocolate. Go ahead, have that piece of cake. Oh, another beer? That'll be fine. It'll all be okay." You know, that is the saboteur talking to you, getting you off track from your nutrition, your eating plan that you may have, okay? Some of us may think of it, you know, it has sometimes been depicted as that, that little devil on your shoulder whispering in your ear, only you don't have the little angel on the other side saying, mm mm, -mm no. Now, Susan Pierce Thompson, in her book Bright Line Eating, actually talks quite extensively about the saboteur. And how, uh, if you let that saboteur that's in your head have that little bit of wiggle room, he'll get in there and take a mile. So one of the ways, so several ways that we can help defeat that saboteur when it comes to having a good nutrition plan and eating the right things each and every day. The best thing is creating a plan each and every day. I like to do my plan at night after supper so I'm full so I'm not I don't have that decision fatigue anymore I'm ready to go and think about the nutritious food that I should be eating for the next day I'll make my overnight oatmeal at night and then plan out the rest of my food I don't necessarily have to prepare the rest of my food for the rest of the day but have a good plan going in I've got this food in the fridge I know exactly what I'm gonna have for lunch and for supper and write that plan down on paper even better yet take that plan and share it with a friend share it with somebody share it with your trainer uh, as well let them know here's my plan for tomorrow of what I am going to eat it will help you stick to that good nutrition plan Another thing that can help is measuring your food exactly. I know a lot of people think about, ooh, measuring my food. That's really getting down there. But if you think about it, if you measure your food, I'm going to have this serving. This serving is six ounces exactly. And you measure out six ounces exactly. Not 5.9, not 6.1, but 6.0 ounces exactly for that. That does not leave any room for that saboteur to come in and get you off track because if you budge a little bit on that thing that's where the saboteur comes in he says you know you budged a little bit on that well you can budge a little bit on this you can have a little bit of sugar you can have you could have one beer it'll be all right mm, don't let that saboteur have that chance as my friend Christine likes to say when we're talking about this sort of stuff um, you know hey even if you have a little bit of a mess up you get off track a little bit We'll get right back on track again. It's just swerving for a pothole out of the lane. It's not going off four-wheeling across the cornfield, okay? You just want to get right back on track, resume as soon as you can, all right? So let's not be Nell Fenwick and allow yourself to be tied down to the railroad tracks by snidely whiplash that's in your head. Let's keep on track with that good nutrition plan. If you need any help with that, be sure to like us on Facebook, visit any of our club locations, or check us out online at myexperiencefitness.com. That answers that. Okay, <laughs> this segment sponsored by Experience Fitness. They've got rates as low as $10 a month in locations in Swamico, Green Bay, Menasha, and Appleton.